What's going on guys? This is G with Test Bros. And today we have the Model 3 Highland right here in Florida. So we're super lucky and grateful for this service center for renting us out for a little bit. So right here, we have the Legacy Model 3, which came out in 17. And this is the 2020, really 2024 uh, Model 3 Highland. So let's go ahead and look a little bit more at the ex exterior. And then I'll kind of show you the interior as well. And then we're gonna take it for a spin and we'll just kind of have our first look. But this is the first time our team has ever seen this in person at least. So let's go ahead and look around. So the main differences is going to be really this front part. So this hood shape is slightly different, it looks like. Um, mainly because the fender is a little bit fatter here. So, you know, if you look at the fender right here, it's a little bit thinner. So you can see the headlights is what really makes it uniquely different, I think. It's a lot smaller, it's thinner, and this kind of resembles more of the S. The bumper is definitely a lot more different. It has a shorter right here, same aggressive that goes all the way down. And you got two body lines right here, but this is very, very similar. But I would also say it's a little bit shorter as well. But I think it looks really slick. It makes it look kind of like the middle model, like mini model S. Um, I love it. I love the look. I think it's a great upgrade. This is going to be good. A lot of people are going to like it but it kind of keeps that Tesla look all around. Well, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the frunk. Um, essentially the same, um, obviously slightly different size, but this is interesting. The windshield wiper fluid is now at the bottom instead of it used to be up here. And then let's go ahead and go to the back side. So here's the thing about this car is that really, if I look at it with my eye, and I've, I worked with a lot of Model 3s, um, this looks almost identical to the older one. The autopilots are almost the same, except that it's hardware 4.0. The mirrors look almost the same, pillars and doors and rear corner panels and all the rocker look essentially the same. So the other part about this that's slightly different is the back. So uh, the back has this, the trunk hatch kind of goes in and then the tail lights actually go into it. So if you look at this one right here, this is what the older one looked like. It went and it was a two piece like this. This now is a one piece that kind of wraps around like so. But then this is essentially very similar. If you look, now we have the reflector into this, right? The diffuser. So you look right here, the diffuser is a lot smaller in the older one. And then this reflector is actually embedded into the rear bumper. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the, the trunk. Very, very similar, right? You have the compartment. Um, one thing that's slightly different is you got one on the right and you got one on the left. You can see the charge port is also the same. So this is going to be the heated one. And actually, it's slightly different. So it's very, very similar. But if you look, the rubber kind of goes into it. The wheels are going to be the same. Um, this is a cover, actually. This is called the Protons. These are really nice. These are equipped with a 235, 45 R18. Um, pretty standard tires. These are Hankook. But let's go inside. Let's get a first look and then we're going to go for a quick drive and then we have to return in a little bit. So let's go inside. So we're just going to go to the supercharger nearby. Uh, but inside, this is what's is a lot more different. So this reminds me a little bit more of like the Model S. However, one thing I really like what they did, kind of similar to the Cybertruck, they made this into buttons. So you actually get feedback and it has haptic feedback and it's also a button compared to like the, my Model S is a 2023, it's just haptic. So sometimes it's just not as intuitive, I think. So they learned from the, the previous Model S's and they incorporated into this. This looks very similar to the Cybertruck where it has this and then this, except that it's not a squircle, it's an actual round, uh, steering wheel. The dash is completely redesigned. So it's very clean. It uses uh, the vegan leather around here and it has this um, fabric um, dashboard right here. And all around here are gonna have RGB. So you could actually go in to the lights and you could do ambient accent lights and you could do auto or you could change it to whatever you want. So I could go blue, I could go purple, I could go green. So it's full on RGB and you could choose really any color that you want. So this is really cool, especially when you wrap your car and then you want to go red, you could just change the ambient or you could go auto and it'll kind of do what it, it thinks it should do. So the interior, this is the biggest part. 
the screen is very, very similar to the um, other one. It feels like they put a little bit more height on it because there's a lot more space where the, the phone is gonna go. Um, as far as this, this looks almost identical to the uh, Legacy Model 3. They have this kind of like grayish, uh, blackish uh, fabric that goes all the way in into here. Door panel looks very, very similar and there's some carpet in the inside as well. Um, I love these seats. So I don't know if you can see right here, but it's perforated as well. So what that means when it's perforated is that you can actually do heated or cooling seats. So that's really cool. That's a premium, usually in a Model S and X. So it's really cool that they're bringing it to the Model 3 as well. I'm so glad. One thing I really miss about the Model S is that the Model S doesn't have uh, cup holders. So there's one cup holder right there. If you just bring that down. That's right here? Yeah, just uh, on the top. Yep, just bring it down. And then boom, you got cup holders just like that. So that's pretty nice. I know the Model 3 has it though. So it's not that it didn't come go away. The back seats are also perforated. So that's really cool. There's actually a screen in the back. It has air conditioner. You can actually move the passenger seats up and down. And you could, have, of course, watch you know Netflix and Hulu and all, all those things. Um, this center console is definitely different. Uh, it has this kind of like matrix dot design, uh, but it's literally just squares and rectangles. So we're definitely going to have a wrap for this section. But it's cool because you just kind of go like this. Very, very similar to the Model S. The Model S, this actually also goes back. This does not. So that's a little bit different. You got your 12 volt here, or I guess your access to a cigarette lighter. Um, and then this kind of, it doesn't just go back. It actually goes on an angle to the back underneath this. And then this one doesn't move at all. And then same thing here, you got a really deep, um, I guess, um, storage. And then there's one USB-C. And then I'm assuming inside the glove box. Yeah, they definitely have the sentry mode here, just like all the other cars. But that's really simple. I love the simplicity of it. I think this is going to be good. Everybody's been talking about how well this drives. So we don't have a whole lot of time. So let's get let's get into it. It's going to be sick. So right away, um, I mean, it feels good. All right, so the first thing that we absolutely need to do is we need to go zero to 60. So let's make sure that uh, we're gonna go sport mode. We're on standard. Let's go. All right, it's not zero to 60, but. Yep, so you get that Tesla feel. That feels awesome. I love how like, even though it's a pretty big upgrade, it just feels, I mean, almost like the Model 3, you know, the, obviously the older one. I mean, it feels very, very similar. I, the seats are a little bit more comfortable from what I remember. I like the cooling seats. I believe I have that on right No, I have it on now. I love it on the S, so it's really nice that they have that. Um, one thing that's really cool is that you see the speakers, speakers right here. They look very, very similar. And I saw this on the Cybertruck as well. It's a blind spot warning, so it just turns red. So it's really visible, and then you know not to go left. So even this, they have a button right here, which if you press, and this is also on the Cybertruck, if you push it, you get to see the camera like this, and if you just swipe up, you get to see um, the other ones. These are, it look very, very similar to the older ones, but they're touch. So the same thing on the back, and then you kind of got the speaker bar that goes like this as well. So that's really interesting. All right, so we got music playing from my phone. Um, so obviously we're not a car reviewer. If you want that kind of stuff, go to Out of Spec Reviews. Awesome, Kyle and his team does an amazing job, so check out their channel. Uh, but what I could kind of, I guess, observe is that um, it feels a lot quieter. Like the cabin feels really quiet compared to, um, I guess, uh, the older Model 3 or even the Model S. So my comparison is all the other ones and it feels really, really good. And the sound quality sounds amazing, to be honest. We just plugged it up. This is a V3 for sure. So we should be getting a good amount. 
Um, but uh, we didn't want to return this to the service center like completely dead. Um, that's not nice. So we're just charging it just for a little bit, just so the next person can have some charge. Um, but essentially the same thing. I don't think they made any changes here. So what we're super excited about this is all the things that we can do in terms of vinyl and PPF. Obviously, since the dashboard is going to be this belt, um, I'm going to figure out a way to kind of see if this pops up and maybe we can change it out to something else. But as far as vinyl, you're not going to be able to wrap this or really the door panel right here. However, you can definitely wrap the door switches. Or you can definitely do the steering wheel. Uh, maybe this one can definitely be wrapped. The center console is going to be the most common one. So we're definitely going to come out with a three piece that goes all the way. Um, the screen protector is going to be very common for sure. Um, I think you could give it a little bit accent and then wrap this again, the same material as uh, the center console. So that's definitely going to be wrappable. Other than that, we're really excited about the exterior things that we can do. So for example, the, um, the pillar is going to fit uh, a lot of our rocker products for PPF is going to fit. Um, I think a lot of things are actually going to fit because a lot of them are very, very similar to to the car i mean to the older car so that's exciting um, but we are going to be immediately working on the full do yourself color kit uh, which is going to be in vinyl to be able to change the whole color of the vehicle i think a lot of people are going to be wanting to do ppf so we're definitely going to be launching the do yourself pp kit for the front first and then we're probably going to focus on the color so stay tuned for that we're really excited we don't want to be late but we're going to go ahead it's over 100 miles let's go ahead and get this out and get it back to the service center so overall, this was a very short time that we had with the Model 3, so we can't really do an in-depth. But Marley has been driving a 3 for the past year, and she absolutely loves it. And I have had, my first Tesla was a Model 3 as well, and I absolutely love it too. So we think we're going to get it in the next couple of weeks. So once we have it, we'll do a little bit more in-depth. But this was our first look. We're really excited about what we're going to be doing with this car. So stay tuned for a lot of content around it. But if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Make sure you do all the good stuff and subscribe. But we'll see you later.